Uh, this is going to be part two of the lecture on the max sling attack. And this time I have um, a game between Steinitz and Meeker from 1860. And so it's a long, long time ago, over a hundred year old game. Uh, but during the time um, of the game, the max sling attack was very popular, a lot more popular than it is today. Um, but what I'm about to show you is going to demonstrate that this is actually, you know, a really good opening. Even when analyzed with computers, um, it's a very sound uh, way to play for white. And <clears throat> um, so let's get into our main variation here. This is, uh, you know, we always play the bishop's opening and we castle in this position. And uh, besides knight f6, like I mentioned, the plan with d6 and bishop g4 is uh, a very serious way to play for black as well. And um, also is knight f6 and we go d4. And so we will get in on the last video here, we'll, we'll get to the move bishop takes here on d4 and we'll see what happens there. It's also a very good move. And <clears throat> but here we're gonna focus on on e takes d4 and e5 is played here. And the last game we were looking at uh, the lines with knight g5 where we put the bishop on f4 and um, whenever black castles we go h3 followed by snapping that knight off, we ruin the king's haircut. We get attacking chances in those lines. Here we're gonna focus on the main meat of the variation, which is the best move here, d5. So what we wanna do, um, what we wanna do here is we wanna take the knight, we wanna just ride the tiger, take the knight, uh, black takes our bishop here, we go rookie one, check. So if they block <coughs> the file, which they will need to do, um, well, let's let's look at king f8, just in case you, may, you might get a move like this, um, but it's pretty bad after bishop g5, uh, takes on f6, for example, you just go bishop h6, king goes to g8, knight c3, um, uh, a very important move. It looks like this is just a knight sacrifice, but actually the knight can't be taken here uh, because queen takes check. Yes, the knight retakes, but now the rook, a nice one-two punch that knocks out our opponent. So I hope everybody can see that. And um, so a move like bishop c8 here, just take after king takes knight e4. Bishop f5, queen d2, h4, h5 for example, queen f4. And obviously you can see white is getting the better of that position also. Instead of bishop f8, let's look at bishop g4, just to be thorough. Um, whoops. Bishop g4 in this position. Knight e4, bishop e7, h3, we just kick the bishop. Bishop goes back to h5, now c3. If d3 is played, um, rook e3. And this position theoretically is supposed to be a little bit better for white, mainly because uh, this pass pawn is always going to be under control. And not only that, but these pawns are very weak on the side of the board. The king is weak. Um, so we could call the opening a success. And bishop e6, you're going to get this in probably, you know, 99% of the games you play. And if when you go rook e1 check, they're going to block with bishop e6. So that you can pretty much count on. Uh, knight g5, I believe, is better than the, the alternative in this position, which is to take immediately the pawn. It's called the Horowitz variation. You can look into that if you want to, but I'm, I believe knight g5 is better. 
and after queen d5 that's the main move there we're going to look at one alternative bishop f8 in this position we just go queen g4 nice move worth remembering um the bishop you know the bishop's still pinned so you know exploring that pin and now we're attacking this this bishop on e6 three times so after g takes f6 knight takes f7 really nice move again exploring the pin and obviously you can't take with the bishop so king takes but now queen e6 check <clears throat> and after king g7 queen g4 king goes to f7 queen h5 check king g8 knight d2 bishop b4 rook e4 white's already much better probably even winning so queen d5 you know this is the this is the main to be a, of of the whole max laying actually because these days black doesn't um, allow a max laying attack unless they're planning on playing this line of queen d5 um but knight c3 that's that's the important one to remember here uh we go knight c3 and attack that queen because obviously you can't take the queen's dropping because of the pin here so I hope everybody can see that so now queen g or queen f5 here was played this was all played in the game by the way and uh, Steinitz here he plays g4 which is considered dubious by modern day theory actually knight c4 knight c to e4 is a better move object objectively and we're going to look at that move in the next game but g4 was played by Steinitz and you know um, it doesn't it doesn't immediately appear obvious why it's not the best move Actually, it looks like a good move, and it looks like uh, Black should play Queen F6 or Queen takes F6, which is exactly what he did, and that's a mistake, <coughs> uh, which uh, we'll we'll see why later. But better was actually just moving the Queen to G6. Knight C D4, for example, Bishop B6, F4, Castle, F5, and then this Bishop sacrifice. And taking here that's the, the key idea for black is that he's okay here you know it's it's probably even slightly better for black so um, but he fell for the uh, he fell for the trap after Queen takes on f f6 knight d5 exclaim great move here exploring the pin on the e-file after Queen d8 rook takes e6 check and after f takes just knight takes e6 here queen d7 um for example if if queen d6 what's a what's a good move here guys just bishop f4 white's already winning there so queen d7 queen e2 was played by steinitz and now bishop e7 let's look at what what would happen after king f7 knight g5 check king g8 knight takes c7 so um d3 here well what, what about queen takes c7 queen takes c4 check King here and then yeah knight, knight to e6 okay so after d3 queen e4 bishop takes f2 king g2 um, for example we don't want to take that bishop um, um, this this position is actually uh, you know both sides have their chances and <clears throat> Uh, you could this could have been played also easily in the game um, but we'll go we'll go back 
to to queen e2, queen, uh, bishop e7 here. Uh, knight d takes c7, check. This is what was played. King f7. Queen takes c4. And now knight e5. Well, let's, let's look at an alternative. Um, what about king g6? What about a move like this? Just running with the king. Queen d3, check. King f7. Now queen b3. Okay, king g6. You got to get out of that line of attack. And then knight f4 check. King f6. Has to be played because the king h6. Queen h3. So after king f6. G5 check. Nice move to find. That pawn is basically untakeable. Because the queen is just swinging over. To this side of the board or there could be even discovered attacks here so king f5 queen h3 check king takes g5 and knight f to e6 check was actually better than taking the queen here knight knight f e6 check um and after king f6 um, it's it's a mate in five So you can pause it here and try to find a mate in five. I know this is probably The hardest, you know a very hard puzzle, but go ahead and pause And the mate in five is Queen f3 check King g6 Queen g4 check Bishop g5 Yeah, you know no other option but to block with this Queen takes g5 Check king f7, and then queen takes g7 is mate. So in the game, queen, uh, queen b3 was played, queen d6, f4, takes on g4, knight g5 check, king g6. This is all what was played. Queen d3 check, king h5, queen h3. King g6, queen takes g4, queen b6, knight g to e6 check, king f6, queen g5 check, king f7, and then just take on g7, and there's another mate for you guys. So let's let's recap on this game real quick. We saw the max link attack, the main the main line of it where the knight and the bishop were both taken. Rook e1 check. As soon as the file opens, the bishop blocks. Bishop e6. We get the knight to g5. And after queen d5 here, got this knight c3 move. And after takes here, you know, knight c to e4, that's the move I would recommend to you guys. But g4 has some nasty traps we saw. And if you play the most intuitive move to take on f6, there's knight d5. And there's just this attack is just unstoppable with a rook sacrifice to follow. You know, this king becomes naked. And, you know, what do you do? What uh, can you do with black? So, you know, queen, queen g6 would have been the saving, the saving move there for black. But, you know, white's initiative just carried through the entire game here. Knight g5 check. This was... This was pretty insane. So, yeah, one of those games where it's really hard to tell where you went wrong until you go back uh, and see exactly uh, what was happening there. Like after after Queen D five, the sequence, right? G four, this pawn. You know, Black's problems start took root and queen takes f6 believe it or not you know because of the strength of this knight d5 move attacking the queen and exploring this pin and there was just no there was no coming back from it and white had the initiative the entire game thank you guys